your source for news from Cinegear 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Blackmagic Design, Carl Zeiss, and Panasonic. And Clint with Indie Shooter continuing on our coverage of Cinegear 2018. I'm here with the Mark of Teradek. And Mark, we're big fans of Teradek. We're streaming this right now on the Teradek Video Pro. But you guys announced some new products at NAB. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, at NAB, we announced the refresh of the Bolt receiver and transmitter line. The current flavors are 500, 1,000, and 3,000. So it's essentially a refresh. So all the new transmitters and receivers are fully compatible with the existing 500, 1,000, 3,000. But what we did was we did a mechanical refresh on the XT line. So there's a Bolt LT and a Bolt XT line now. So the XT line, more expensive, um, with sort of a no compromise, all features. It has a spectrum analyzer built in um, to help you pick the channel, most free channel. It has LUT support and a new mechanical design. This is the receiver, so you can see there's a battery, you know, battery power yeah, gold mount. Like gold mount pass through. There's also V mount version, so you can lock it on the back of the monitor. So this is really aimed towards a high end, you know, cinema tele episodic television, sort of the no compromise, zero delay wireless solution. Um, and then, That's a transmitter. Or? Well, this is a receiver, uh -huh. right? So then this is the LT transmitter, uh -huh. and the LT again, like I said, fully compatible with the existing bolts. But essentially, we just stripped it down to bring the price point down for more users. So instead of SDI and HDMI on the same unit, you have to buy an SDI only unit or an HDMI only unit. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And you don't have this battery pass through and you don't have um, LUT support. But other than that, for a lot of people, you know, a lot, of, a lot of users just need, I need an, you know, a, Frame and focus. exactly a one to one SDI. So it's a way for you to be in the Teradek ecosystem at a much lower price point. So are these available now? Or? So these are just started shipping. Yeah. So. And, and do you know the prices on these? Or? I, I not if I can't roll them off the top of my head, but you just hit the Teradek.com website and everything's there. So Cool. So what else we got here, Mark? We're really expanding the ecosystem around uh, Teradek RT. So Teradek RT was a, built on an acquisition of RT Motion. So it's lens control and camera control over RF, so super long range distances. So um, we're showing uh, a new hand controller with full lens mapping for that ecosystem. Um, a new super speed motor, which is uh, the highest torque, fastest lens motor pretty much available today. So that's about to ship, but we're showing it here at the show. And then we have another product that's a prototype, sort of a technology preview built around for the red DSMC2 camera system. And this is called uh, the Teradek RT Control. So it's sort of like the sidekick on steroids, but it's a way because the red camera menu systems are so deep. They kind of feel like an in, like an engineer's menu, yeah. and so what we've done here is essentially created a button rotary, you know, very familiar rotary button interface that's used on, you know, the very popular camera systems out there. So it's just a faster and easier way for you to navigate and use the menu, right? So this is something that's coming later in the summer, but we always use these shows as a way to show something we're working on, so we get the feedback from the audience. But part the big thing that's happening within the Creative Solutions Group of Vitek is, is we're focused on more integration of the small HD monitors showing the lens mapping from the Teradek RT system. So it's more, the more we can make the different product lines, we create an ecosystem on the set and, and we sell more stuff. So one of the things uh, uh, that we saw, the Sony Venice made an announcement uh, that you guys have like an integration directly with the Venice now, right? Correct, correct. That is a, it is a module, a transmitter module that goes on the back of the Sony Venice, yeah. So we're trying, you know, it started sort of keyed off of what Red, Red was doing, but we're, you know, I, we believe the future is modularity and, and integration. You know, you want, for years, we've been making movies with cameras with 14 boxes strapped around it and a rat's nest of cables. And so it gets more exciting as, as you make more things talk to each other, you can have less things. Another good example of that is the NAB announcements, which are now shipping from Small HD, which is the they combine the, the transmitter and a receiver, or a receiver, I mean, you know, into and a monitor. So with grips on it and everything. Exactly. Yeah. So most shoots will have a transmitter on the camera. 
and they'll have an onboard monitor on the camera. Well, why not have an onboard monitor that has the transmitter built into it and it's one thing on the monitor? So things like that, just more integrations and more options to make your configuration less like a giant rat's nest, you know? Buck, I want to ask you, uh, uh, ICG released a memo recently that said that uh, ACs need to make sure, and operators need to make sure that they maintain some level of proximity from uh, RF signal and everything yep. like that. What's the recommended safety that you guys say for operators? You know, I don't remember off the top of my head, and I would just urge you to check that. Uh -huh. You know, obviously you don't want to write next to your head, and they like to put it up higher. It's better from a point to point, you know, a line of sight connection. Um, but you can Google it, and I, I just don't remember off the top of my head. Cool. So people want to find out more about these products, they should go to your website, right? Yeah. I mean, teradec.com is a great place to start. You sign up. There's a couple different newsletters happening from there that do really good case studies. I find that case studies are like the most educational. It's not just an ad to buy a new product, but you can see how people are really using the product. And Teradec's really good about that. So go to teradec.com, register, sign up for the newsletter, and that's a great place to start. Your source for news from Cinegear 2018, Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Blackmagic Design, Carl Zeiss, and Panasonic.